What is up YouTube, it's Jason right here, and I'm teaching you how to get the hacked version of Pokemon Go on your iOS device, no Joe Brick needed. So this hacked version, you technically have Patrol, which attaches your eggs, or you have Tap to Walk, so you can technically uh, walk anywhere you want to go, times 4 speed, if you want to actually go somewhere really quickly, you have a map, so you can technically go anywhere, and it has even a Poke Radar, so you can tap on the Pokemon that's close by you, and you can technically grab that Pokemon, and it's one of the best hacks, the only thing is, you do need a Windows computer, Windows or Mac, does not matter, but you do need a computer in general, so right now, I'm going to try to do it, and let's go to my computer, alright guys, so we're right here on my computer, and first things first, this uh, method, you have to repeat this every seven days. What this does, it actually uses a seven day certificate to sign the app. So every seven days, you have to go back to your computer and reinstall the hacked version of Pokemon Go. So it's every seven days, nothing bad really. So that's a warning for you guys already. By the way guys, you as well have to delete the original Pokemon Go app from your iDevice. This will not work if you have the original from the app store. Um, Pokemon Go install your device you actually have to delete it and install the one I'm just showing you all right so you want to connect your iDevice to your computer and make sure that iTunes recognizes your iDevice so right here my iPhone 5c should show up on my screen right now on iTunes as you can see it just recognized it and there it is so once it's fully recognized it you want to close out of iTunes and both files that you need will be the Pokemon Go and Impact both will be in the description below so you can download them and to extract Impactor, I do recommend getting a new folder and name it whatever you want. So you want to extract that to the new folder. So you want to extract, extract here and grab all the files and put them to the new folder. And you just want to right click and make sure open. Not run as a ministry, just open it. So once you open it, you want to click on run. And it always should give you this program right here. And I know it does say install super user for Android. Uh, it's, it works for iPhone. So do not worry about that. It's just a bug, I guess. So all you want to do is get the Pokemon Go file and put it into the program. Now it will ask you for your iTunes email and password. It's perfectly safe. All it's going to do is sign the app under your iTunes ID. It's going to take it to Apple. It's going to say, hey, you want to sign this app? Uh, and then Apple will sign it and every seven days you have to repeat this process so I'm gonna just put in my email and password you can make a dummy email and password for your Apple ID as long as it's a valid Apple ID so you just make a new one if you want to put your original Apple ID but you do need a valid Apple ID guys so you just want to put it in alright guys so once you put in your password put OK and a little message just should show up on the bottom right here Alright, so as you can see, it's uh, doing its thing. It's actually putting the uh, app to your i, I device and signing it, it's taking it to Apple. And this warning should show up. And it just press OK, it's all good, safe. Alright, so this process does take up to like four to five minutes. Do I just connect iDevice from your computer? Just let it run and just follow along with me right now. Alright guys, so it just finished and it'll look just like this, just how it started and now we're going to our iOS device and see how to actually make this work. Alright guys, so we're right here on my device. If we go to the Pokemon Go app, we do have to trust the certificate that we just made on the computer. So you have to go to settings, general, all the way to the bottom to so see profile and device management. It'll be all the way in the bottom. Your email should show up right there. You want to trust that. You want to trust it one more time. And there it is. It's verified. Go back to the Pokemon Go app and you're good to go. You're golden right here. So we're just going to wait until it loads so you can see that's actually working. Alright guys, so the app just loaded. It took quite a while to open actually. And there's the app. And by the way guys, once you open up the app, you want to enable fake location. So that's all you have to do. Sign up with your account and you're good to go. You're golden right here. So you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I have more interesting videos coming your way. This is right here. See you in the next one. Peace.